Yo, what's going on guys, Camille here. Today we're going to be doing the tier list for Fréminet's best weapons. As always, you're going to see what you're going to need for a Claymore for Fréminet. So Fréminet is going to be a physical DPS mainly, just as simple as that. So you're just going to need the usual, you know, DPS stuff like crit rate and crit damage and attack. Um, You know, also a high base attack and stuff like that. Any weapon that contains these is going to be pretty good. Obviously, since it's going to be a physical DPS, any physical damage bonus stuff is going to be pretty good. So you'd want to get that too. And then any like normal tax damage bonus too is going to be pretty good. And then finally, elemental mastery is going to be acceptable too, since usually you're going to play him in like shatter comps. So elemental mastery is going to increase your shatter damage by a little bit. So it's not going to be wasted. You don't really want to aim for it because it's not, you know, like a huge part of his damage. But if you get elemental mastery on a weapon, it's not going to be wasted. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the claymore requirements for Fremine. Now let's move on and rank the weapons. All right, so starting off with the first shadow it's just gonna be hp and then a low base attack so it's going d tier plus thing ray sword elemental mastery but you're still gonna have a pretty low base attack and then the passive is kind of meh too so it's probably going d tier too white iron is just defense low base attack so it's d tier i'm just running through these three star weapons very quick um the bay club um also a low base attack but at least it's gonna give you attack as a substat it's gonna give you some additional damage from the passive but it's not really enough i'll put it at like higher d tier or maybe lower c tier Let's put it at lower C tier since it's at least usable. And finally, the last um, three star weapon we have the Skyrider Greatsword. So it's also low base attack, but it's going to give you a physical damage bonus, which is very good. And it's also going to give you quite a decent amount too. It's not like a low substat. And then it's also going to increase your attack from the passive, which is super good. Now, even though a lot of these things work on like Fremine, the low base attack is still a huge problem. So I wouldn't really say this weapon is like super good or anything like that, but it's definitely going to be usable. So I put it at like b tier pavonius um just energy recharge and then the energy from the you know the the passive um wouldn't really say it's the weapon for fremine so i put out c tier the bell um it's gonna give you a shield but the hp substat is kind of meh so i put out c tier too sacrificial high base stack and then energy recharge and the sacrificial passive again wouldn't really say it's the weapon for fremine so i'll just throw it as c tier too royal um great sword the high base stack and then attack as a substat which is super good good the passive is kind of meh it's just the you know the usual royal passive which is pretty much useless but the weapon as a whole is still pretty useful so i put that b tier rain slasher it's just elemental mastery and that's going to increase your damage um from the passive you're probably going to have enemies affected by hydro and his comps so i mean i wouldn't really say it's a bad weapon i put that like lower b tier prototype archaic um average base attack for a four star weapon attack as a substat which is pretty good too and then the passive is also just kind of whatever so it's pretty much the same thing as the royal gray sword i put that b tier white blind just defense um the passive is gonna give you some attack but it's not really you know that good so i put that like higher c tier or very low b tier um i put that like very low b tier you're still gaining the attack even though it's a low base attack but you know it's a decent weapon especially if you have like refinements on it it's gonna be usable but definitely not recommended we have the black lift slasher you know average base attack and then crit damage as substat which is super good and then you have the black cliff um, passive which is if you be opponents you're gonna have your attack increase again it depends on the scenario but this weapon is gonna be pretty good especially if you have at least like one stack from the passive it's definitely gonna be super good either way i put that like b tier um just for the inconsistency if you have two or three stacks it's definitely gonna be like an a tier weapon but if you have like zero stacks it's not gonna be as good so i'll just leave it at b tier but it's definitely a very great and usable weapon you have the serpent spine um crit rate as a substat and then average base attack and then it's going to increase your damage if you're on the field which Fremine is going to be on the field so that's pretty good i would say it's a very decent weapon too to be honest um nothing really special but it's definitely pretty decent so yeah i put that like higher b tier it's definitely better than black lift but i wouldn't really say it's a tier material lithic blade just attack and then you know you gain more attack and crit if you have characters from leeway i'm not really sure i haven't really thought about it and it seems but generally speaking it's either way it's not like it's super good weapon i'll just put that lower b tier we have the snow tom star silver a high base stack and then also physical damage as a substat which is super super good for fremine the passive is just extra damage but you're gonna be able to have the full passive because the enemies are probably gonna be affected by cryo too so you're gonna have quite some you know considerable damage increases from the passive nothing like too much but it's it's decent so yeah, i'll definitely say it's a very good weapon for Fremine. I put that like A tier. Got a fish weapon, um, low base attack and 
an attack as a substat. The passive is just elemental burst damage and then it's just gonna give you some extra attack. Wouldn't really say it's bad but it's also not like super good or anything like that so I'll just leave it at B tier. We have the Kasura Gikiri. It's just energy recharge and shit so it's just C tier. Um, We have the Mechera Aquamarine. So it's gonna give you elemental mastery but then from the passive it's gonna convert your elemental mastery to some extra attack. It probably wouldn't really be as much since you're not building um, elemental mastery on Flamine that much but again the weapon itself is going to give you elemental mastery and also you're going to be able to use that elemental mastery to gain like more shatter damage which is pretty decent but overall so i wouldn't really say go for this weapon for him um it's not really like the exact weapon you'd want to use on him is just long. So I'd put it like lower B tier or higher C tier. I'd put it up lower B tier, I would say. It's also going to buff your teammates. So yeah, I'd say lower B tier is fair. Um, Akumaru is just attack. And then the passive is just going to increase your elemental burst damage by a little bit. Um, B tier too, you know, just for the attack and the base attack. So yeah, Forest Regalia, kind of high base attack, but then NG recharge the substat. And then elemental mastery from the passive. Wouldn't really say it's super good. So yeah, I'd put that C tier. Um, male flower it's elemental mastery and then a high base attack and then the passive is just going to increase your attack and elemental mastery too i would say it's definitely a decent weapon nothing really special about it but it's definitely usable it's going to give you attack and then also a high base attack and then some elemental mastery to help out your shatter damage which is cool so nothing really special i'd say it's easier have the talking stick high base attack and then crit rate as a substat the passive i did review it before if you want to check it out i reviewed all of the um battle pass weapons but but generally speaking, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to take full advantage of the passive for um, Flamine. Now it depends. If you're using like Bennett, for example, you might be able to take advantage of it. If you're using like um, Barbara with him, for example, you can take advantage of it too. So it depends on the team. If you have like a character who can apply um, Pyro or Hydra on you, then good. Especially Pyro, that's going to be necessary since it's going to increase your attack, which is, you know, pretty important. But if you can't, it's not really super good. So yeah, this weapon is not really very consistent. I would say it's still pretty decent just for the crit rate and the high base stack so I'll put that like B tier but the passive again it's very inconsistent and long so yeah I'm not really sure about it and finally the new craftable the tidal shadow just average base stack and then attack and then just after you're healed your attack is going to be increased so you just got to make sure you have a healer on your team who can heal you consistently it's either Bennett Barbara or whatever you know you just got to make sure you're healed once and you have the passive so yeah I would say it's pretty good so yeah um you can use it but overall is just giving him attack so it's not really like super good i just say it's b tier 2 and now finally for the five star weapons we have the skyward pride a super high base attack even for a five star weapon but then ng recharges a substat which is not really super good and then the passive is basically just gonna give you extra damage and also gives you um damage bonus which is pretty good um just for the super high base attack i'd say it's an a tier weapon i mean it's probably like a waste on flamine himself but you know it's it could definitely work on him so if you have it go for it. Wolf's Gravestone, um, average base attack for a five star weapon, but it's still high base attack. A huge attack substat, which is pretty good. And then it's also going to increase your attack from the passive, which is super good. And it can also increase your um, attack if you hit opponents with less than 30% HP, which is also obviously very good. So the Wolf's Gravestone is just basically a shit ton of attack. And, you know, Flamine can use that. I would put that S tier, to be honest. I would think it's one of his best weapons song of broken pines um a super high base stack like actually very high well highest in the game and then a physical damage bonus substat it's not really a huge substat but it's still gonna be pretty good especially because it makes up for it with the high base stack and then the passive is basically just extra attack and attack speed you're probably gonna be able to fit in more like um normal attacks if you gain more um you know attack speed i mean i wouldn't really think you're gonna be able to do much more but it's definitely gonna be you know a cool thing to have and obviously the attack increase is always good so yeah i put that s tier honestly i think it's probably his best in slot now we have the unforged um you know average base attack and then attack as a substat the passive is just gonna give you attack and then even more attack if you have a shield on so yeah i would say it's definitely a very good weapon i just put that like a or s tier i'll put that lower s tier if you have a shield on if you don't have a shield on i might put that a tier but with a shield on it's probably s tier you know i'll put that a tier let's put it a tier but then if you have a shield 
hold on it's definitely a very good weapon it's very good either way um you have the red horn um kind of a little base stack for a five star weapon crit damage as a substat and it's a huge substat and then it's going to increase your uh defense and then increase your normal and charge attack damage based around your defense you're probably not going to be building defense on fremine but it's going to increase it by a bit either way and then you have the crit damage substat which is super good so yeah, i would say it's a decent weapon i'll put it at a tier and finally we have beacon of the reed c average base stack for a five star weapon then crit rate as a substat which is super good um and then the passive is just going to increase your attack you just gotta hit bonus your elemental skill and then maybe take damage which i'd assume is probably manageable for most people so yeah i would say it's a very good weapon too i'll put that like lower s tier to be honest you know it's it's cool you know high base stack crit rate and then attack so yeah everything is there it's probably gonna be one of his best weapons but yeah as you guys can see here it's just you know pretty much the normal dps weapons just gotta get crit attack you know stuff like that and you're good so yeah it's nothing really complicated for Flamine. but yeah that was the video guys if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and see y'all in the next video peace